A GoFundMe page has been created to raise U.S. $30,000, a ransom allegedly demanded by Venezuelan captors who abducted two Grenadian fishermen. Today is the deadline given, and the family of the two men does not have sufficient funds to pay up for their return. Cano, Abitia, please come up with us to money because you are put me in this kind of problem here, which I want to come out of. I am in the of it. So I'm begging you, please pay that money, please pay that money. Save my life. The two Grenadians featured in the viral video, the one speaking in the clip, has been identified as Marlon Graham of Subi St. Andrew. His mother says she noticed something was wrong even before seeing the video. When I realized he didn't come back, I started calling the number, but the, the number, the phone only saying unavailable. More than when I come out from town, my daughter tell me somebody send the video, give me that and she phone and that is how i see just how you see it is just so that is what i seen miss graham says that they received a phone call from an anonymous number making the demands and threatening her son's life she says persons are claiming it was a drug run gone sour but she cannot say because these people and them he had a guy from wrong here miss that went and when he come when he come back he was telling us the same thing about he was over there you understand so how he talking, like them people and them, they don't want police. Because if they know police, they might kill them. I'm very concerned. Because I don't hear him. More than is, is this video will come up. I don't know. I can say, is that he going to do? I don't know. Just as how them see in the video, is just how I see in the video too. And that is how I see it in distress, you understand? But I don't know nothing else. His sister tells us that she too has limited knowledge about the incident. We see the video just like everybody else. When we, we went online, people send the video to us. And just like what everybody see, we see it. They hold him up for ransom and they're asking for X amount of money. So we all there trying to see if we could raise funds to help him. That was, I know about the situation. The family was informed that Marlon Graham and his fishing partner were held captive in Venezuela. The GoFundMe page was set up in a bid to raise the money being demanded and the family is also exploring other options. We don't know what happened that he reached down in that, that place. We're hoping that something could work out so he could get out because he's not our own. He's missing him in life. We can't eat good. We don't sleep him properly because we miss we brother and we miss we love one. So we want to see him come back home safe. So we're pleading for the public help to help with the situation, please. They said the deadline is today, but we don't have all this money. This money, these people and them calling, they, we don't have it. So that's why we try now to see if we get help, you know. Local police have since been made aware of the video by concerned Grenadians and plans are being made to intervene. And this man I want to put go in my head and kill me here, innocently. So I'm asking all you to pay the money, please, to save my life. I'm begging to save my life. My friend can't even beg for his life now because he can't even speak. So I'm telling you all.